One of the unexpected surprises that I have experienced with this ministry of working with people who suffer with scrupulosity is the experience I share with others during a group spiritual direction session. Men and women from all different perspectives and because of the reach of social media from many different countries gather together and form a community of people who share a common struggle. I do not identify this gathering of people as a community without some reflection. However, I truly believe that the gathering is a community of people of all different ages who share our common struggle and who have a profound respect for others who also struggle with scrupulosity. The surprise that I experience is the dynamic of a truly loving and caring community. There is no judgment. There is no attempt to correct someone else or to minimize what they are experiencing. Everyone recognizes in one person's struggle with scrupulosity something of their own personal struggle with the disorder. It is a very rewarding and a very comforting experience to be part of a community of people who understand you and who appreciate you for who you are. It is the exact opposite of what your scrupulous condition prefers. Scrupulosity has a preferred arena that is required in order for it to reign supreme. The arena is the isolated and the effectively silenced and marginalized person who struggles with a disorder. Scrupulosity relentlessly drives a person into some kind of isolation, trying to convince the person who suffers with the disorder that what they are experiencing, what they're feeling, what they are anxious about is so horrendous that if anyone actually knew what was going on inside of them, they would be excluded automatically from normal human relationships. Self-isolation or being very quiet or withdrawing from social give and take, or any of a multitude of isolating actions is the end result. Spiritually, the isolation is even more deadly. The primary isolation is the decision to refrain from the reception of Holy Communion because of the fear of sacrilege. This decision effectively isolates the person from the grace of the sacrament a grace that they need more than ever in order to be restored to some sense of integrity and wholeness. The very act of not going to communion is also isolating because it is so often obvious to those who are around you. To not receive communion effectively identifies you as a person with something wrong going on. This identification effectively isolates a person even more from the community of believers. Group spiritual direction is one very positive step to end the isolation. It is an experience of being with a group of people who accept you, not as you one day might be, but rather as you are, exactly at this moment in time. For many people, the acceptance is exhilarating. The first time in what might be a very long time in which you experience a community of men and women who are completely accepting and not at all judgmental. In the conversation that takes place during the period of spiritual direction, everyone is invited to share their experience, their ups and downs, their missteps, but also their successes in the process of learning how to manage their scrupulosity. They hear the stories of other people and the stories that are shared are encouraging and helpful. Now, one of the fears that some people have about attending a group spiritual direction experience is that they will hear something from someone else that will trigger an unhelpful response in them. The fear is that they will hear something that will give them some new content to worry about or open up a fresh path for anxiety. This does not happen. It is not the experience of the people who participate in the spiritual direction community. 
The reason why a person should not fear the dynamic of group spiritual direction and choose not to participate because of the fear of not being helped but effectively hurt by the experience is this. Every person who struggles with scrupulosity already has their preferred and well-defined content and focus concerns in place. There is a very remote possibility that something new will suddenly become a challenge. In other words, for most people, the anxiety that is experienced has already been well-defined, even before you became aware of the trigger itself. There is more than enough content available to you. There's no need or desire to add a new focus or concern. Sounds kind of hard to imagine, but it's true. Your scrupulosity has effectively included and effectively excluded the preferred content and life experiences that you are focused on. Most experiences, including most intrusive thoughts, pass through your consciousness on a daily basis and you pay them no attention whatsoever. You are already experiencing the possibility each day of new content and a new focus for your anxiety. And it just does not happen. Group spiritual direction takes place one day each month at an agreed upon time, usually for a period of 90 minutes, with a spiritual director from managing scrupulosity as a group facilitator. It is recommended that when you join a group that you remain with that group in order to become more familiar with the members of the group and more comfortable with your own participation. Zoom links are automatically sent to you a few days before the agreed upon meeting time. You do need to register for the group of your choice. At Managing Scrupulosity, we are continually looking for an opportunity to form new groups. It does take some preparation time in order to form a group, arrange for a facilitator to commit to the group, and to find a time that's conducive to the best participation, so please be patient. We have also formed groups that are by invitation only. These groups tend to be smaller and are formed around either a particular issue, age, and or gender, and a variety of other shared experiences. Normally, these groups are not advertised and are formed as a result of participation in either a group spiritual direction community or individual spiritual direction where those who might profit best from this specific and focused content are identified by one of our spiritual directors who issues the invitation and then forms the group. I strongly encourage you to consider group spiritual direction as an effective way to receive the support and encouragement that is necessary in order for you to learn to manage your scrupulosity. God bless you.